Some people leave a mark on the world that lasts forever. Tara McGowan tragically passed away from an asthma attack at age 23. Her dream was to help people with disabilities to live independently. So her parents, along with Gen U Disability Services, made it their mission to bring Tara's dream to life. Yoo-hoo! Oh, hello there! How are you going? Nice to see you, Katie and Casey. The development comprises a five-bedroom house plus staff accommodation on one block, a two-bedroom house and two one-bedroom units on the second block, as well as a communal outdoor living area. The housing was built on land granted by the City of Greater Geelong and provides fully accessible accommodation to enhance the lives of young people living with a disability. This is beautiful, it smells so new. Yes. Can you take me on a tour? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Is this your beautiful pink room? Yes. Gee, you keep it nice and neat. Yeah. What are yeah. your favourite things in here? My new TV. Your new TV? That's huge. Yeah. That's too big for a bedroom, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and your room, where's your special room? Oh my goodness, look at that beautiful blue. This is the ocean room. The ocean room. This is gorgeous too. What do you love about this room the most? Because I love the ocean. Does it remember from my mother? Oh, really? Yeah. So how long have you two known each other? Since I was four years old. Four? Since I was, I've known her since I was eight years old. Wow. So how old are you both now? I'm 33. 33? And I'm 29. Tara's vision has given these beautiful people a freedom and independence that they would have never thought possible. Parents Steve and Karen McGowan found solace in turning their grief into keeping Tara's dream alive. Well, Tara's dream, it really is a dream come true, bringing this to life, isn't it? But uh, can you tell us how it all came about? Yeah, well, our eldest daughter, Tara, um, who was very, very passionate about young adults, um, living with disabilities with their accommodation. Um, unfortunately, on the 1st of May 2015, we uh, lost Tara to a, um, an asthma attack. Mm. And um, we just want everybody to know how special Tara is to us and, and making sure that her dream lives on. Mm. Tell us more about that beautiful girl, Tara, of yours, and her big heart. <laughs> Tara believed that um, anything is possible, you know, you just got to try. Yep, some people just need a little helping hand and yeah. she just used to say to me, you know, Mum, none of us are perfect. We've all got some kind of disability now and none of us are perfect. And she said, there is an ability in every disability. And she said, anybody can do what they want to do. Yeah. You just got to work at it. And she said, you wow. know, I want to give them, I want to be their voice for them, you know. And, but her dream was to run her own home and um, she said, you know, I don't want to just put them in a house and that's where they sleep and someone comes and looks after them. She said, no. They're going to learn to cook, they're going to learn to dress themselves, they're going to learn to shower, learn to wear makeup. She said, they're going to be treated for their age, not for what they are. And she said, Mum, I go to work and I'm supposed to look after these people and teach them. She said, but they teach me something every day. It's obvious that Tara had a huge heart of gold and one of her favourite quotes by Mark Twain is, kindness is the language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see.